Chain Echoes is one of those titles that struck me by the graphics, but really grabbed me by the story. This title resembles the gameplay of old JRPGs with a tweak of modern mechanics. The story takes place in a fantasy medieval steampunk atmosphere when three major nations are at war. The player starts in the middle of a destruction event that takes the lives of thousands of people. After this catastrophic event, a group of characters is going to join your quest by different means, and even if they don't agree with the terms at first, they will gladly fight by your side to try to put an end to a war between its three kingdoms. In the vast continent of Alandis, each of these characters has their own backstories and motivations that translates to the actual playstyle when it comes down to the encounters with the enemy. This title resonates with the turn-based battle system, where you use four party members that can switch between others at a later stage through progress in the story, in a kind of tag team mechanics. For that, you need to link two characters as you most please before the battle, so the option to change between them is available during the fight itself. The most crucial element on the fight is the overdrive meter, a bar on the top of the screen divided between three colors. Here the objective is to stay in the green area so that you can take the most out of the situation. Staying in the green area means taking less damage, dealing more damage, and skills cost much less resources. On the other hand, staying in the red area means that you are overheated and ending up taking more damage. To lower the meter, it's necessary to match the corresponding type of attack listed on the overdrive ability slot, or just simply defend and not perform any action. Performing a different attack than the one listed or taking damage will make the bar progress closer to the red area. Last but not the least, there's an ultra move that can be performed by the characters, with different objectives divided between offense and defensive that helps the player in the toughest situations. The ultra meter will naturally be filled during the fights. Also, the boss fights are always different and the mechanics are often shifting. The level of difficulty sometimes spikes toward levels but a different approach to the situation might help to do the trick. The game itself puts you on a situation that you can't just blind attack the enemy by using the same attack over and over again. A well put strategy is imperative to overcome some foes. After each fight it's granted skill points which the player can allocate to level up the skills on the skill tree, equipments, accessories and class emblem. Levels are mainly attached to important story combat moments this means that you can simply grind to level up the characters in that regard. When you level up, the level points will be available to every character. It's then possible to choose which skills to learn and build up the growth path the way you most please. In terms of customizing, class emblems give skills and stats attached to specific classes, and any character can equip and use its benefits. If a character uses it long enough, it can master the skills and equip them forever, even without the emblem. Gems are also super useful to further customize your equipment. For this, you need to combine gems, the same base to improve its levels and consequently its stats. Also, it's highly recommended to explore every single corner of the vast locations. There are tons of NPCs to talk that can actually give you something useful. Information, advices and even gifts. Treasures to dig and enemies to fight against to earn some skill points. If you are an RPG fan, this is an easy pick. The story is fun and evolving, with a touch of high fantasy, which I really appreciate, and sometimes even mature, since it approaches sensitive subjects. Take your time to also appreciate the music that goes along super well with everything that is going on on the screen, and of course the graphics, the sublime pixel art graphics. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy to watch this video review, please consider subscribing the channel, commenting, like the video, and who knows, share with your friends.